Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. McBride. Wanna make a jellyfish? Me too, let's do it. So dig inside your bag and get out your materials. You should have a half of a paper plate, some eyeballs, and some colorful streamers. I had purple, green, and blue. You might have some different colors and that's okay. Um, some other supplies you're going to need are some glue stick or some tape and some scissors and some markers or some crayons. First thing you're going to do is choose what color do you want to color your paper plate for your jellyfish. So my favorite color is green. I'm gonna start with green. And it's important that you let your kids choose the colors and they could be real colors. You could make a je jellyfish that looks real or you might make a jellyfish that looks a little silly, and that's okay. That's part of art. Making lots of decisions. It's about the process, not the product, right? And when kids get to choose the colors, they feel ownership in their projects. So kids, go ahead and make your choices, make those decisions. You'll do great. So I'm gonna change and add a different color. I think I'm gonna try blue now. I've got green so far. I think I'll fill in some of the parts with some blue. I'll get a little blue. And I think I might add one more color. I might put in a little bit of purple, just because I like purple. And again, kids, you choose what colors you want your jellyfish to be. So I've colored in my jellyfish and I probably would go back and fill in those white spaces. I like to, it to be completely colored in. So you go ahead and do that when you have time. Second step is get your eyeballs out and your scissors. Remember how to hold your scissors? Okay. And then you're going to cut, cut those eyeballs out right along the lines. It takes strength to cut and you need that strength when you go to kindergarten. You'll be doing a lot of cutting and a lot of writing and coloring and drawing. Okay, I've got one eyeball done. Now I'm moving on to the next one. And again, you know what, boys and girls, just do your best. It's okay if it's not perfect. Just do your best. Because again, it's all about the process, not the product. Put my garbage away. All right, now we need some glue, some glue stick to glue our eyeballs onto the jellyfish. So, get my glue stick open and I'm gonna put the glue on the back of the eyeballs. That way I can choose where I want them to go when I put them onto the paper plate. I'm gonna do both of them at the same time. And then don't forget to screw the glue down and put the cap on so it doesn't dry out. You know that of course. Okay now, I'm thinking since I have some crazy colors on my jellyfish, I'm gonna make my eyeballs look a little funny too. So I think I'm gonna put one eyeball here, press it down so it'll stay on. And then I think I want the other one to be kind of silly. Looks a little cookie monsterish. Cookie Monster Jellyfish, that'd be kind of crazy, huh? Okay, so there I've got my eyeballs on my jellyfish. Now we need to put some tentacles on. And we've given you some streamers and you can use uh, streamers and you can use some other materials too. So what you're gonna do is uh, turn your paper plate over so you've got the blank side. Or if you wanted to color the back side of this, you can do that. Or you know what, if you wanted to paint your paper plate, that would be another option. Maybe you could do chalk on it. There's all kinds of ways you can color it. So you're gonna put it on the other side. And I think I'm gonna use tape to tape the tentacles on. And moms and dads, go ahead and let your kids pull the tape off. That's a good skill to know how to tape. That way when they wrap presents for you, they can do it independently. <laughs> all right, I think I'm gonna do blue next. I'll glue a blue one on the back. And these are different lengths and that's okay. See how I taped it onto the back? And you could cut these in half and make them thinner strips if you want. Your choice. Now I think I'm gonna put a green one on. Okay. 
just one little piece of tape does the job. Okay, so this is it so far, but you know what? I think I want some more detail on my jellyfish. So I looked around and I went outside. I love to get things from outside to do with my art. So I found a couple of green stems and I thought these look kind of like tentacles. So I think I'll glue these on, actually tape them on. So I'll put them in different places. Here's one, here's another one. Okay, now that's looking kind of interesting, isn't it? And I also found some pieces of ribbon lying around the house. So I think I'm gonna tape those on. I found a gray piece. So I'm gonna tape that on the back of the paper plate. And I also found a long green one. So I thought that would be kind of pretty. So there's my jellyfish so far. I think I want to add a couple more things. That's the thing about art, is making lots of decisions. Um, looking at your project and thinking, hmm, what does it need? Does it need something more? Do I need to add something? Do I need to change something? And I think what I wanna do is to punch a little hole in the top here and add a string through it so I can hang my jellyfish. So moms and dads, if you have a hole puncher, show your child how to punch a hole if you don't already know how to do that, kids. And then I found some, just some ribbon. I thought I would cut a little piece. Then I can string it through the hole and then I can hang it somewhere. Maybe you could hang it in your room. Maybe you could hang it in your kitchen. I don't know, you, you could choose where you wanna hang it. Maybe you could hang it on your deck if it's not going to rain. Maybe this could be a gift for someone. You could make a little jellyfish. There, so now I've got a little hook. I can hang that. Now I did think, hmm, I wanna add one more detail. And you can choose what kind of details you want. Don't make your jellyfish like mine. Make it be the jellyfish you want to make. But I thought I would like to add something onto the eyeballs. Now we had some little mini M&Ms lying around our house. So I got a few in a bowl here. And I thought, you know, what if I put one little colored mini M&M on each of the eyeballs? That'd be kind of fun, right? So uh, I have orange, green, and brown sets. So I think you know what my favorite color is. It's green. So here it comes. A little glue on the black part of the eyeball. Remember, put that top on the glue stick again. And I've got my little mini M&M. And I'm going to glue it onto the black part of the eyeball. And I might need to hold that on there. You know what, moms and dads, if glue stick doesn't work, maybe a little dab of Elmer's glue would work. And there you go. There's my jellyfish. I think my eyeballs need some little bit of Elmer's glue. <laughs> Anyhow, have fun making your jellyfish. We'd love to see pictures of your jellyfish. Send them in to us. Have fun. Bye.